Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Again, want to thank you guys for the support on the channel. Definitely appreciate it. If you guys like the content, if you like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content posted on the channel. Today, I thought I'd take another look at the portfolio with regards to disappearing stocks. It has happened again. Another one of the stocks on the portfolio has seemingly disappeared. There is a little bit of a clue to what happened here in the middle. You can see an update from Robinhood. A reverse stock split has happened. MARA underwent a one for four reverse split on 1030. And it also has a statement saying that funds from fractional shares may take two to four weeks to process. So I do like the fact that Robinhood is now updating investors on exactly what's happening when there is a reverse split and there are not enough shares in a portfolio to make a reverse split or any other type of trade. And it also, I like now that has a little bit of an update or at least a time frame in which the funds from these shares will be credited to the account. So funds from fractional shares may take two to four weeks to process. I know a lot of you guys in the past when this has happened to other stocks have been quite confused, uh, even disgruntled with Robinhood, uh, thinking Robinhood has taken those stocks or has taken the proceeds from the sale of those stocks and kept those, but just a very long delay here, two to four weeks, quite long for this process to kind of play out here. But I'm really glad that Robinhood is now doing this. If we take a look at the portfolio, if I scroll down to the penny stock portfolio, you'll note that MARA is no longer in the portfolio. So on the bottom here, you can see MARA no longer available. I also put out a video talking about this stock here, B. A, C, plus B, a Bank of America warrant. And you can see this is also not tradable. So it looks like a lot of stocks in Robinhood, for whatever reason, are not being able to be traded. Uh, MARA is one example of that. This is another warrant, but interestingly enough, it is still able to be traded. Uh, I did put out a, another video a few weeks ago, maybe a week ago, talking about warrants will no longer be supported on Robinhood. Cited the example of B, A, C, plus B here. But this is another more that is still able to be traded on Robinhood. So not quite sure what's going on with that. And if we take a look uh, at MARA, let's just go ahead and search for it here. You'll also see now Marathon Patent Group is no longer tradable either. You can see in the middle, this stock is not supported on Robinhood. So very, very interesting here. You can see on the bottom, uh, I've done a little bit of buying and selling of the stock. Did a little swing trade uh, back in July 26. Other than that, I think I held one share from a prior trade. I think that uh, 52 cent market buy on June 26 was the only stock I had. So I only had one share of this, just had it held in the portfolio. But now the stock is not able to be traded any longer. So very, very interesting. And if we go back up to the top of the portfolio again, uh, I kind of like this that Robinhood is doing. If you click on their announcement for that reverse stock split, it actually brings you into the Robinhood app support. And then it also goes through a number of other corporate actions that may have impacted other stocks. Uh, you can see stocks here that have changed their ticker symbol. I did not know you could do this, or I did not know companies could do this on a regular basis. You can see up top there, Tower Stream Corp, TWERD has now changed to TWER. You can see a stock there has also been delisted from a stock exchange. Another stock there, Vice Holding Corp, VNCE, went, uh, went for a 1 for 10 reverse split. So quite uh, nice there. And if we keep scrolling down, you can see a number of different actions, corporate actions by a number of stocks. And you kind of see here that this is not something that is isolated. These stocks are continually going, undergoing reverse splits, forward splits here. Uh, kind of interesting to see how many changes actually happen. And this is only over the last couple of weeks. And it's also kind of surprising that a lot of these stocks are being liquidated as well. You can see in the middle here, uh, advisor shares, a number of their stocks have been liquidated. I think if we scroll down as well, SPRD had a number of stocks liquidated as well as changing ticker symbols. We can see here lots of reverse splits, lots of delisted stocks here, a whole number of delisted stocks here in the middle. You can see another ticker symbol change, ABTL to AUTO. Uh, another stock there in the middle, liquidated, MLPJ. And if I keep scrolling here, I believe there's a bunch of SPRD stocks 
ETFs, very popular ETFs that have actually been liquidated at some point. Uh, oh, there's another stock that I had in the past, OPXA. You can see has now traded to ACER. So very interesting there as well. So you can see a number of different actions here, corporate actions, lots of stocks that are being delisted, lots of reverse shares. You can see NEFF was acquired. Shareholders will receive $25 per share. So that's what I'm hoping happens with Portola. PTLA, one of my biotech stocks that I'm trying to do a little bit of a speculative play with. I do believe it will be acquired, and hopefully I'll get an announcement like that for maybe $100, $105. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Angie's List looks like it was acquired, A-N-G-I. So very interesting, and I'm glad Robinhood is now doing this, updating the shareholders on exactly what's going on in the portfolio so there's not a surprise when a stock disappears and or when those stocks are sold off, when those funds will be recredited to the account. Again, I know a lot of you guys had a lot of uh, negative comments about Robinhood because of prior actions like that. Stocks disappeared. There was no info on exactly what happened as well as stocks disappearing. And then there was no credit to the account for quite some time. So I'm glad Robinhood is now at least informing the investors on their application what's going on. So yeah, just wanted to talk about the portfolio with regards to another disappearing stock, MARA, no longer in the portfolio. It underwent a one for 4 reverse split. And I'll be expecting my, I think it was 40 cents or so at uh, this point, to be credited to the account in two to four weeks. Not a big deal for my portfolio, but I know a lot of you uh, have been quite disgruntled, again, with Robinhood not being completely transparent on what's going on. I don't think there's any shenanigans uh, going on here. I just think it's a matter of informing the investors exactly what's going on in their portfolio. So again, just wanted to talk about a uh, disappearing stock in the portfolio. Let me know if you guys have MARA, what are you doing with it since it's no longer to be able to be traded on Robinhood. And another very surprising thing as well is that the market cap was only about eight to nine million dollars. So very, very tiny, small cap company. Did not realize that when I initially was doing some day and swing trading with it. Very, very risky when you have companies that are only valued in the millions of dollars, especially if they're not even $100 million. So I'm glad I got out of that stock, but some of you still may be holding large holdings of that. Let me know what happened. Did Robinhood sell off all of your stocks or is it a similar situation like one of my stocks, BAC plus B, where I still have a stock in the portfolio. I can't buy any more of it, but I can sell it off. So let me know either way. And not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until next video, we'll see you then.